Now I'm angry. Nothing can hold me back. <laughs> Stampede. You must follow. <laughs> Mess with the bull and you get the horns. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll show you how to play Alistar. Now Alistar is one of the top tier picks for the support role. Um, he's a tank. He has a lot of CC, so he's great in team fights because of his tankiness and his ability to constantly disrupt the enemy team. And he's also really, really good at roaming, so he's actually one of the better supports you can play right now. Bell Star's Q is the knock up. That is the ability you want to be starting with. Um, little one, you just stay back. You can't really do anything at this stage, so just stay far back and chill and don't take too much poke. I had to knock them up right here because uh, I don't want Jin to lose all of his SP, so just chill out, um, get the procs for your item here, so you get some gold. Okay, and actually going all in, so I had to do this again. So Jin did not respect the other two because they have a much stronger early game than us. They have a Draven Knight, so not to respect that. But yeah, a good thing though is that Elsa's passive, so you get stacks when minions die nearby and when you CC enemy gems. And once you reach maximum stacks, then you get this heal. So you get to heal yourself and your allies, so you also have some sustain. In your W guys, you're going to knock people back and this is like his most important combo is that you can buffer your Q in your W animation, so instead of knocking people back, dash into them and then you knock them up. And that's like his main combo, that's how you want to engage. Before you do that though, you have to make sure that you actually win the trades. Um, we are playing against the Draven. I have to respect that. Not run it down because if he gets a lead, then our lane is over, right? Um, but yeah, and now we have our E, so when we activate it, then we will become ghosted. And we also deal some damage to nearby champions while getting some tremble stacks. And you get those stacks when you damage um, enemy champs and they can stack up to 5 times. And then once you have maximum amount of stacks, when you auto attack an enemy champion, they will be CC'd. And what's good right here is that I have face rush, so you can use face rush or you can use aftershock. Face rush is very good for engaging, you know, and really kiting people and make sure they don't CC you uh, because you get so much movement speed and you also get slow resistance. But if you want more tankiness then you can also go for the aftershock. So when you engage you really have to make sure that you win the fight. Right now I'm playing safe because I think Diego is um, somewhere around here so that's why we're just chilling out. He's really looking for that kill.
Uh, we don't really have vision of the enemy jungle, that's why we are staying back and that's really important because if you don't think about every single one of your engages, there has to be a reason for you to engage. You don't just engage randomly when all of your build is up, um, you need to most importantly keep in mind, um, are you going to win? This is a really nice combo right here. Um, I was actually waiting for him to engage because this is one of the cool things you can do on L star is that they are way too close to your tower and they try to engage then you can flash Q them so you knock them up and then you walk behind them and W them so you push them into your own tower. Yeah, it's really fun to play this champion. Um, really good for solo queue especially because he has a lot of the things you need for a support. And support is one of the most OP roles at the same time. Um, you're able to roam so much, so once you have enough gold, get the mobis and then you just start roaming. Alright, we got the mobis guys, so that's perfect. Let's also get the lens because we want to start roaming, so we want to clear up vision at the same time as well. I'm gonna head topside right here because he might get dove. He's level 5 into level 6. Okay, she got the level 6 right now. Oh, she should have waited for me. What's happening? Can she win? Oh, she missed the W as well. And he blocked out. Okay, I can go in here. Yeah, actually the problem is I don't have ignite. So as you can see, he's just healing a ton. And okay, we have flash. Okay, we did get something though, so it's not a complete waste. Yeah, if she waited for me to come, then that would have been 100% a kill for us. Yeah, when you get the Mobius guys, um, you know when you recall, when you're walking back to lane, do not walk uh, towards the bottom side. Every single time you recall, you want to walk towards um, mid lane when you're playing, planning to roam because if something happens in the middle lane then you'll be able to get there in time right now nothing will happen that's the mid lane recall so I could just hit um, bot lane but normally you always want to uh, when you recall you walk to your path towards the middle lane something happens then you will be able to help them out and if nothing happens then you don't lose anything because you'll just be able to walk bot right so always path towards the middle lane when you recall and get back into the lane now we got the ultimate up guys so when you use it first of all you are going to cleanse every single cc and then you get damage reduction for a short while And the way you use this ultimate, it is not a Trindomare ultimate, so you don't wait until you're low HP before you use it. You want to hop in into the middle of the enemy team. When they use a lot of stuff on you, then you pop that ultimate to cleanse it, and then you tank as much damage as possible. Do not wait until you are low HP before you use the ultimate. That is such a waste, because it's going to reduce the damage, right? It does not make you... Immortal, so you want to make sure that you have as much HP as possible after that ultimate runs out. Don't see uh, Viego on the map, and we also don't see Nautilus. There he is, okay. So Viego might actually be in the bottom side at the moment. Lane is not doing so well. Um, yeah, Set just snowballing the lane. Um, he wins hard early on. Especially if he gets a kill lead. Diego is definitely in the bottom side. Our jungler is also pinging us, so he's 100% down here somewhere. He might be in our jungle actually trying to counter jungle Evelyn. They're just gonna move, try to collapse onto him. And there he is. 
Wait, he actually tried to hit Evelyn and he cancelled my flash combo instead. See, I'm trying to um, peel my carry, so I'm trying to focus down the most um, dangerous targets first and trying to disrupt them. Akali would be able to assassinate Jin, so I'm trying to keep her in check as well, and that's how you want to peel for your ADC. So if you have a really good and fit AD carry, then you can be the one to peel for them, so you try to um, cancel out the assassins when they try to engage onto your ADC, CC them for as long as possible. But if you have other fit targets, for example Evelyn, then you can also be the one to engage for your team. Um, try to be creative with the ways you engage because you do have the uh, X flash so you can come from different angles. See, now I'm doing what I said early on, I'm pathing towards the middle lane. Even though nothing is happening right now, because if something happens, then I'll be able to be there in time. And nothing happens, then I just go bot lane and I don't really lose anything, okay? So that's why you always want to path towards the middle lane, even though you're not going to gank anything, you don't see any opportunities, because something could happen. Now a fight is happening top side, and if I was pathing towards the bottom side right now, then I would not have made it here. And we got the flash down as well, so this is good. We have the number advantage, so that's perfect. So make sure that you path and always look for opportunities, especially as a support. There. Oh, they got the Drake. Unfortunate. I'm gonna cancel out Draven here. As you can see, I tried to... I did not try to... Um, CC Nautilus after the first engage because they can easily deal with him. So instead I move towards Draven so he will not be hitting Jin. We can tower dive this guy here. Um, that is also one thing Elsa is really good at because of his uh, damage reduction in his ultimate. Really good at tower diving, and you really want to try to tower dive if your jungler is here, or if you are in a two versus one. Here we got the tower plate. Now we just have to chill. They don't know Evelyn is here, so I'm just gonna bait it out, and we don't want to make it too obvious. Nice. I don't have enough mana for my ultimate. That actually kind of blows. Oh, this is not good. So we gave Viego a shot down and... Like a Katarina, he gets a shot down, he just takes over you and then he gets a reset on his ultimate, so he's just gonna... Screw us over and this would not have happened if I had enough mana for the ultimate, so that's a... Miscalculation. Still passing towards the middle lane here. Um, L Star. The thing is, he's really OP in Soul Cube because he can roam so often, and since it's a support, you don't really lose a lot. Just make sure that if you roam and you get a kill um, in the mid lane for your teammate, then stay there for the wave so you also get some XP and some gold. So you don't end up like three, two, three levels behind the enemy team. I have flash up, just engage once everyone is here, gonna go in now and face rush makes it impossible to kite, there we go, focus down Draven guys. So this was perfect, I'm just gonna focus down the guy who is the biggest threat to my ADC. Nautilus is not able to do anything because Jin was under the tower so. Draven, Draven was like the prime target.
Just constantly looking for roaming opportunities, kind of go towards the Herald right now. This is what makes support so OP because they're able to do this. Oh, whoops. Actually, I miscomboed that uh, WQ right there, but we got the kill still. And we can return once my uh, build is up. We're gonna take the Herald though. We should definitely take it because it is so low HP. That's another roam that gave a small victory for our team. And another kill, perfect. So if you're able to roam a lot and especially out roam the enemy support then this is a role that can really really carry the entire early game. Since it is a snowballing meta then carrying the entire early game most of the time will end up in a victory. I'm actually gonna go for the Solari this game uh, because uh, they have a Viego and they have an assassin so people are looking to assassinate one of our teammates and then try to get resets off of that so the shielding could prove to be uh, somewhat useful here in this game here so if I can deny Viego one of his resets then we win 100%. And remember to always set up vision control guys, try to get the wards down deep in the jungle so you can see when the enemy jungler is coming up. We can try to flank a Kali here, just need my boots to come off cooldown so I get the bonus movement speed. Yeah, I need to get out, he did not have his ultimate. And Viego would just one shot us because he has true damage. And Fiora is also struggling quite a bit topside, losing both towers. It's a bit of a YOLO play because I don't think we'll be able to do anything here. Just gonna try to. Wow, okay. We don't have enough people with us, so this is not very optimal. Yeah, this is not a good play at all. a bit of a disaster top side wow he almost got a quest well but anyway we got the shot down so not too bad now we got the locket so i think it's good this game as i mentioned early on because that shield you get some extra defensive stats so it could potentially uh, deny viego that reset and Akali as well, they have assassins, so... But yeah, you can go for a lot of different items. Shurelia is very good for engaging, you get a lot of bonus movement speed, same goes for the gem tank. They do have a bunch of options when it comes to Alistar and his itemization. I'm not fighting that, and there's a teleport coming in here. Cancel out this W. And his flash is down, so that's perfect. Double top uh, teleport coming in the bottom side. I don't know, I did not notice, but we are not winning that one versus uh, two versus one anymore. I definitely need another person with me if we're going to fight set. Perfect fight. You are the frontline guy, so you want to stay in the front line. You're not playing Janna or. And in Chanda, you want to soak up as much damage as possible from the enemy team. Even better if they're using ultimates or something on you. That is perfect. Soak up as much damage as possible and disrupt the entire enemy team. That's how you want to play Alistar.
Even if you don't get any kills from roaming, then you also want to make sure that you get some really good vision down because it doesn't help only you but also your teammates, right? Because your midliner will be able to see if he's about to get ganked so he can recall in time. So you could potentially save your teammates from dying. Make sure that you get some really good vision down and know where to place the wards. That is too far. Not sure if he makes it out. It looks like he did make it out, okay. But yeah, that's a questionable play. He should have waited for us. Need somebody to take the wave bottom side. We're actually losing a lot of CS as well. The gang coming in top side, so we have to move in time. Get a double kill, then we can turn that into a Baron. Here is that again. Uh, she is very squishy because she's going for the Essence River instead of uh, something tanky like the uh, Stride Breaker or Gold Ringer. But we got the double kill, so that is a Baron. That should be a Baron. Yeah, my job is getting down some proper vision, and then I try to. Keep people away from the Baron Pit. As I don't deal any damage to the Baron at all, then I'll just have to be tanking it. If somebody comes, then I have to move and then, uh, you know, CT them. Try to buy myself some time, so my teammates can take the Baron. But now we got it, and the Dragon is about to spawn to recall. Build towards your next item. I'm just stacking up on control wards, so if they take down one of my wards, then I still have a spell one to use. They are camping in that brush, so they had to wait for me to engage. I am the tank. I don't have my ultimate quite yet, but we should be able to do something here. Oh, that is not good. My backline got caught. That's actually a really awful fight because um, I should not have played with the Fiora because she's pretty useless at this stage so I should have focused on healing for Jin. Because we actually got, C we CC two priority targets but Fiora has like zero damage so we didn't get anything out of it. That's a bad decision, instead I should have stayed with Jin. Uh, Echo and Evelyn. Alright, so it's a pretty even game because we just ran it down right there and yeah, it's fine, but they actually scale decently well, but we do as well. You have a uh, you have a gen. And Evelyn is also really good in the late game because she has so much magic pen that she just one shot people even though they're buying MR. On top of that we also have a Fiora. She's gonna run everyone down later on. Well, they're going to collapse top side. Maybe I had to uh, make it top right now, but the problem is we don't win that two versus one against a set. He is too fed right now. We need to find a play in the mid lane. Go for Draven. Oh, flashes down Nolus. Just gonna kite backwards like this. Get the combo in, then use that face rush to kite around. So you don't take more damage than necessary. Oh, this is perfect. We also got Viego, and I actually think that yeah, I actually CC it set before he was able to get his ultimate down, so he was not able to knock one of us into don't team. So this is so OP. This is perfect for us. Now CC down the priority targets. Make sure that they don't take down your carries. 
and let them do the da damaging part. We don't have a wave with us, so I don't think we are able to end here. We got one tower, but we have to back off right now, because we don't have enough time to push it down. Because the uh, wave was too far behind. Yeah, inhibitors down and we also got one of the base towers, so now we just need to make the final push as a team. Fiora is still not winning 1 vs 1 against a set. She is 2 levels behind and she is 0 and 7, so... Right, let's get the 6 here. Great synergy will immobilizing and use it on the target that's going to follow you. So you can use it on the Evelyn, you can also use it on your carry. Depending who is within range uh, when you immo immobilize someone. Typically it is the AD carry though because they have the range advantage so they will always be within range of somebody so most of the time you probably want to use it on your AD carry. Because you need to stay nearby them anyway so you can peel them and make sure they don't get one shot. I don't know why there's nobody in the bottom side because there's such a big wave and it's a cannon wave as well. There's no point in me taking it. Um, Go on the carry to sit on the goal, of course. Hero's coming down, so I'm just gonna leave this wave here and then I hover. Make sure to get down some vision as well. We definitely need anti healing, so I'm probably itemizing Thornmail after this item here because um, they have a Vigo, of course, they're going to heal for a ton. If you look at his build, he has played the Ruin King, he also has the Death Stand, so... There's a lot of healing there, and then they also have a Draven, who... Has the shield bow, so he's also going to heal a lot, so if we can deny that healing, then it's also going to be huge for us. We can actually do the Baron at this point here. Echo is going down to the Dragon, I am not sure why, we should just give it up and then we want to focus down the Baron, uh, that is the priority camp or monster. Because the base is open so we can just buff up the minions when we have the Baron and then we try to end. Oh he actually made it out? That's pretty nice. If you look at mid lane, that's a big wave coming in, pushing into the tower. Okay, that is not good. No, when you see a Viego get a reset in fight, then you just peace out, guys. You're just gonna lose it, because he gets that reset on his ultimate, and he also gets... The basic abilities and the items, so if you get someone who's super fit, then you just have to get out. I will not be able to catch this guy. I'm getting body blocked. It's a bit annoying. The thing is, you can actually pop that E, because you become ghosted when you use it, so if you get body blocked, then you can just pop that as well. That's also fine. But yeah, Thornmail definitely seems to be a really good purchase this game. Set also has a ton of healing, same goes for Viego and Draven, so... And they're also AD on top of that, so you get a ton of value from the Thornmail. Like, Bramble West is one of the most OP tank items in the game, because you get so much value from it. Anti-healing and armor on top of that, so a ton of value from a single component. 
which basically denies the healing from the entire enemy team when they start attacking you. Definitely need to take down the top tower as well, because we do have the Baron buff. Just trying to get some good vision down so they don't flank us and my teammate can see when they're coming. I'm not sure what Evelyn was doing in the mid lane. Also not engaging when um, my teammates are not nearby. You always have to see where your team is before you decide to engage because you can pull off a really good engage but if they're not within range then there is no point to that. That uh, okay. That thorn mill just made the tower aggro me, so yeah, that's a problem with the item, but otherwise it's actually really OP. Biora split pushing in the bottom side. She's not winning against that, but she does have the super minions, so maybe she'll be able to get the tower. We also don't have Evelyn with us, so we also need to be careful and not run it down. And yeah, I'm not sure what Echo was doing. Um, we're kind of uncoordinated, so people are getting tilted because somebody is always getting caught out. It's a bit unfortunate. Because we can just end this game if we play together and try to group up because I can engage for a team and then we have Evelyn who can one shot somebody. If we get Viego then it's pretty easy. Take the red buff here and deny Draven or Viego a set for that matter. Yeah, still, um, it's even more important the vision control at this stage. Because if somebody gets caught this late into the game, then it's usually over because they can either take the uh, Baron Elder Drake or they can just push down mid and end the game, right? So, vision is always important, but especially at this stage of the game. So, make sure that you have really good vision set up. I would actually like to recall here, uh, but I know that somebody will get caught on just staying because if I recall, then I can can refill my wards. That was actually pretty sick, and I also uh, stopped set from uh, engaging onto Evelyn. Also, ridiculous amount of damage. He has two damage in the center. We also need to chill out at this point because we already got two kills and we can't really run it down anymore. We don't have a minion wave with us just yet, so we are not able to end. We should just do the Drake, honestly. Yeah. I'm not sure, um, we just keep... I think people are just not focused anymore because um, we died so much. Just focus down the dragon, go for the soul and then the baron is also spawning soon. Still some drakes left, but at least we are getting it and also somebody needs to go top because that's another massive wave and we also need to make sure they don't rush the Baron because they, it looks like they're going for it. We need to be there in time, staying up on those control wards, get some vision down. Might even be camping in the brushes. 
I just need to go in, find a good way to go in and knock people up. If I CC them, then they're gonna die for sure. Not using the ultimate immediately until I'm in the middle. Oh, that... This fight is so huge. And Jin also... Stole the Baron. And I think Sid ulted me or something. I'm not sure why, so I actually soaked up a lot of damage and that's perfect. Because now the game is 100% over. We are able to end, we have the Baron minions, they don't have any towers left. So yep, that was the L-Star guide, I hope this was helpful, as always see you guys in the next one.